Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. We had a new loading screen yesterday. We had tradable pack supply on the market with UEFA marquee matchups, and still the market went even higher. So I'm going to talk to you guys today about Thursday flipping investments that we could possibly buy into today. Is some stuff already too inflated to buy? Yes, I do think that is the case. So I'm going to talk around what stuff rose yesterday and into today, what's going to happen possibly with content with another loading screen and kind of like the Thursday flipping scenario this week. Now, last week was also a very good week to Thursday flip. A lot of cards did go up and there was some investing beforehand. But this week we have seen such a big market rise since Sunday night, Monday morning that it's going to get a bit interesting this week, especially with the team of the week market movements that's going on right now. There's a lot of leaks circulating even right now, late Tuesday night as I'm recording this. And that's just very interesting to me. Uh, and there's already a lot of cards that are moving on the market because of that. So the team of the week today is, has a big part in what happens to the market today. And of course, whatever else content we do get. But we are confirmed to be getting Road to the Final on Friday. So that is going to be the first thing I'm going to talk about relating to rewards this week. Since there's a promotion coming on Friday and there is nothing in packs right now, that means some people might be saving their rewards for Friday, which means the possibility for less of a market rise on Thursday. That's something to keep in mind this week while we're Thursday flipping. Of course, uh, we did get this information from EA yesterday. Real Madrid did beat Inter, so Isco is going to be getting a road to the final SBC that will come out at some point during road to the final uh, since Real Madrid did beat Inter. So that's our first confirmed road to the final card as of right now in the game. So of course, uh, I want to talk about that. I'll save that towards the end of the video though. Let's again look at Thursday flips and what kind of stuff can we be interested in this week with Thursday flips? Well, since a lot of stuff has already risen up so much on the market, we need to look in a couple of different areas. And there's three major areas that I want to look at this week out of packs in forms, is number one. Now, a lot of these informs have already risen, right? Even this week's team of the week, team of the week five, Zaha earlier tonight on stream was 215. He's now 230. Valverde is up from like 265. Kimmich is up 10K plus. Joe Gomez is up like 50, 60,000 coins already. Paulinho is up 10K. A lot of people have bought into these cards as they're going out of packs. Same thing with the rule breakers. A lot of those cards are up. And especially some of these cards, Firmino is up 10K, uh, Partey is up 10K, Ramos is up 20,000 coins. So a lot of these cards have already been invested in, in my opinion. So what I really want to watch for today on Wednesday is what kind of stuff drops down just a little bit or what, what kind of stuff drops down today on Wednesday, either as we head into rewards time frame or around the content drop today that we could get into. And the number one thing that I would say is a decent investment would be these out of packs informs. If a card went up last week, right? If a card went up last week, there's a possibility and a probability that it could rise again, right? We always say that. If it rose once, it can rise again. Now think about who's going to be in team of the week this week, who could be in, right? There's a lot of Portuguese kind of rumors, right? Jota possibly being in, uh, Gelson Martins possibly being in. You've got guys like Renato Sanchez is in form who are just absurdly inflated right now. Now there's a couple of these cards that I think are over invested in and could possibly drop this being one of them just because of team of the week leaks today. If you see any panic selling on an inform like a Renato Sanchez that is very OP um, or any ones to watch cards that are, are like Gareth Bale is dropping right now because the leaks are saying that he is not in. He was gone from 260 down to 240 in the past couple of hours. Same thing with Semedo because people are saying Walker is in. So this ones to watch card is starting to drop. Just keep an eye on these today because there is going to be a point where the panic selling, if they're not in team of the week, will get too low. And that'll be a buy opportunity because a lot of those guys have games again this weekend, which they will rise for and they'll just rise with, uh, you know, after a panic selling period that happens all the time. So keep a watch on those. But out of packs informs today would be like my number one place to look if there's any sort of selling on the market. Um, if there's any sort of panic selling and you see these cards drop down around 6 p.m. or before rewards, the out of packs cards would be my number one favorite. Um, you know, even Mertens, who was 530K this morning, was just down to like 495. I was trying to look and see if I get an undercut under 490, and I didn't, and he's back up to 500K. So maybe missed one there because he could very easily fluctuate back over 530K and be profitable. So that's a possible missed investment there. 
Uh, but that's number one. Out of packs informs are some things that I really just love to trade with on this game all the time. And you're seeing a lot of people have invested in those already this week. But I mean, I still feel like there's a possibility for some of these cards to go up even further. Jamie Vardy is one that I'm keeping my eye on uh, because he is. Some people think he's going to get a team of the week this week. I don't think he will for one goal, one assist for a second in form. That's not enough for me, but I think this guy can easily go up to like 215, 220. So if I can find him at 190, I would be a big time. I'd be a big time buyer in that kind of price range. Um, a guy that's already, it's in team of the week right now. It's going to be going out of packs is this Zaha card. I'm really, really high on this one. Um, he's already up to like 230,000 coins. He was 215 earlier tonight so he's risen up a decent amount already but just watch for panic selling on these today that could be a big buy uh on the out of packs informs now of course we also talk about gold cards right some people don't like investing in gold cards some of these cards are getting invested in right now they're very up in price ben yetter is one of those right again i'll mention gelson martins and just the whole league one right french cards right now are very expensive or very uh, getting invested in because they're very hyped up. We've had a lot of League One and French links in the past couple of days with SBCs and promo cards. Ben is being invested in literally as we speak. He's gone from 50K all the way up to 60K right now because of that Gelson Martins possibly getting in Team of the Week. So if you're looking at gold cards this week, look at Premier League, look at um, League One, and look at... Uh, French slash Brazil, because I think French and Brazil links are always going to do good. Premier League is always going to do good. But some of the French cards that maybe went up a decent amount last week, you know, maybe a guy like Langley, a guy like Griezmann, these would be cards that I would watch again today because of all the French hype that is kind of building right now. Griezmann is still kind of low, right? Um, he was 53K early this morning, down to 50,000 coins where he's at right now. Monday, he was still 51, went to 53. So, I mean, last week he went from 59 up to 64. Uh, I believe he was even cheaper than this before rewards. But uh, with all the French hype that's going around, maybe a guy like Griezmann does decent this week. Langley should do decent. Uh, just watch those kind of links this week. Varane is probably going to go to the moon this week, in my opinion. I think he'll go up a lot. And I think it's boosted around this Mole card. Uh, just, again, the Denayer SBC that came out. And of course, if Gel Gelson Martins gets in, links to, of course, Renato Sanchez. There's a lot of League One stuff that's kind of happening. So just keep an eye on this stuff, right? And also just look through some of these cards, right? If cards are already inflated, like last week, Gold Allen did not do well at all because there was a lot of investing, right? He went from 49,000 coins to 50K. Like he literally did not move because of over-investing last week. Although the week before he went from 54 to 68. There's going to be some cards like that this week. Maybe Ben Yedder is that card this week that doesn't really go up much after rewards just because of that over-investing that happened. So just be careful with that. But look around for some gold cards that still could have room to rise. Aubameyang is somebody who I'm slightly interested in. I was looking at him tonight on stream. He was still 200K flat, 201. Right now he's 210. He could very easily drop back down to the 200K range or under 200K. And this guy last week went from 210 to 230 and probably was selling at 240 at some point in that time frame. I would not be surprised if this guy goes from like 200K all the way up into the 230, 240 range. And that's not terrible return on investment. Even if it's a buy for your team, that's not a bad investment right there uh, for gold cards. And then one last thing I wanna talk about. So go through some of these, look through the graphs and just find some of the meta cards that are very popular that we like, kind of watch rise every single week. And if they're not really inflated, if there's not a lot of investing happening ahead of time, you can definitely get in on some of those. Watch Joe Gomez this week. His inform is very popular. All right. Uh, of course, he's been out of packs, but his price is still going up like he's still very, very meta. So watch this card out of packs today. If he does get supplied at all today on Wednesday, if he drops down to like low 120s, the 110s, that might be too low. I still think this card's going to go up after Thursday rewards, um, even though he's just coming back into packs because that happened with Rashford last week. He was out of packs, his inform card. He's got a lot of hype because he's very good. And he went up a lot more this week. He went from like 210, 200K, I think, after he came back into packs. Now he's 240, 250. So I think this card, if it goes down 10,000 coins, would be a huge buy-in opportunity um, around the 125 range on the Xbox and maybe around the 100, under 110 range, possibly on the uh, on the Xbox. Or sorry, 
120s on the PlayStation and like 110s or under on the Xbox. What do you have here? You have like what? 7K attacks, so not a ton of attacks, but a very, very meta and very popular card at that. So kind of keep your eyes on him. Uh, those are kind of the two areas that I would focus on this week. The out of packs cards, panic selling on ones to watches for a possible rebound after rewards, and then some meta gold cards as well. If you're somebody that has a lot of coins, if you're somebody that has a lot of coins, one thing you can also do is get in on icons. This is an area that not a lot of people are um, really getting in at the moment. But uh, I'm going to sort by PS price here just to see a lot of the really expensive ones. Let's go to like page three. Some of the icons that are in like the three to 700 800K range could be very investable this week. Find a card, maybe somebody who's around like four or 500,000 coins. It's very popular that a lot of people are going to want to use. Um, that, that could be a card that really rises a lot this week, depending on links. Ashley Cole could be a decent one. Like look, go through John Barnes as an 86 rated four star, four star. This guy's got a lot of hype right now. Um, just look at some of these graphs from like the past couple of weeks. They don't show it a ton always on the footprint graphs, but these icons have been doing great on Thursdays. Um, it, it doesn't, you can't really see it on here, but some of the icons like last week, I think it was baby Zola. He went up a lot last week. So if you're somebody who's on a bigger budget, I think icons are going to do pretty well this week as well. French icons would be a huge move in my opinion. This is uh, Ashley Cole's middle card here. Yeah, last week you went from 309 to 350. So that's not too terrible right there with some English links. Uh, maybe you look at some Portuguese icons, maybe even like Deco or Rui Costa you could possibly get interested in too if you're on a higher budget, if you're interested in any of that stuff. Let's check a guy like Balak. What did he do uh, last week? He went from 530 all the way up to 580. Probably you could even have seen some sales around 600K where he's still kind of chilling uh, this week. So, you know, that's a pretty solid investment rise. Watch some of the baby icons from the popular nations, big names, good in game. Soul Campbell probably be another one this week. Uh, last week he went from 570 up to 620. So just kind of watch some of those cards if you're on a higher budget this week as well. Or if you want to make a buy for your team, that could be a very good time, very good opportunity to do that this week as well. So again, I'm a little bit scared on some of the investing on some of these cards already. Some of the out of packs informs, especially uh, a guy like Ramos, right? A guy like center back Sergio Ramos is already up in like the 320,000 coin range where this guy was like under 300K a couple days ago, even like one or two days ago. So I do think there's a lot of investing that's happened already. That's why I'm really trying to look around and find guys like Yang that I mentioned. Uh, this would be somebody who hasn't really risen up that much this week yet, but is still a very meta card that a lot of people want to use. That could be a big buy. Martial is another one. Uh, he has started to rise up a little bit because of French links, um, but... If I can uh, work around the laggy menus, Martial is up like eight, nine thousand coins, I think. Actually, no, he's down a little bit. He has been like high 120s or 130k this week. If you can snag this card right around 130k or below, which looks like right now he's about 133, which doesn't seem too terrible for me, I would get interested in this card for the menu links, the French links, possible, uh, just a card that rose last week and a card that a lot of people are interested in using. That would be one that I would keep an eye on as well. So let's take a look since we talked about Thursday investing again, I guess the last point that I want to make on that, right? This week, we've seen really good market rises the past two weeks on most cards. This week, I do think that with the inclusion of the road to the final stuff going on, I would be a bit skeptical that there's a huge market rise. I feel like there might be a little bit of panic selling after rewards, and there might be a time for a frame where you see a lot of people that have had invested sell those cards and not a lot of stuff moves on the market. Some stuff will still go up. I'm just a little bit, mm, a little bit feeling iffy about Thursday. So pick the right stuff. And I do think you can make some coins on Thursday. But again, I do think people are going to hold their packs and hold their rewards. And that would mean possibly less of a market rise on Thursday. Uh, so just be kind of wary of that. I do want to talk about Road to the Finals though, because that is coming on Friday confirmed by the loading screen that was dropped yesterday. We'll probably see a new loading screen today with the car design on it. Probably not any like leaks for players yet or like hints from EA yet. I would just expect to see that on Thursday or like if they tease anybody with the loading screen. But just to show you what happened for Road to the Final last year, the player selection was phenomenal. Big time names, big time players. If it is similar to this this year, 
If it's similar to last year's team this year with the big time players, nice dynamic images, and decent boosts. And remember, these cards were so, so rare. Like almost all of these cards rose out of packs and they were almost, a lot of them were their cheapest on the first day. Militao went from 400K to 700,000 coins in about three to four weeks because of the rarity of these cards. These guys were so rare. It was unreal last year. Of course, Champions League was in full swing. Dybala went from first day, he was down at 500K and went all the way back up to 785, 800. These cards were like dinosaurs last year. So we will see if that is the same case as this year. If the player selection is hot, the pack weight is super duper duper low and there's saved up packs, which there could be. People have like what, three or four days now to save up packs until uh, Friday when the new team, when this team, excuse me, will come out into packs. That's just something to kind of keep in mind uh, that, you know, the player selection for this could be really good. That could mean some possible panic selling depending on what cards do come out on Friday. So I do expect a nice rise in the market Friday night per usual, but we might have a little bit of a dip Thursday after the, the content drop. If we do get some more hints and stuff, what's going to happen with Road to the Final. And it's just hype, right? Road to the Final is a, a, one of the most interesting promos that people love that promo in this game. Just because of the fact that it's different, right? It's not a player's performance that makes a card move. It's the team's performance. Champions League, of course, is the biggest, um, you know, competition outside of the regular leagues in the world, in football. So it's just got all the eyes on it. The card designs for Champions League promos are freaking nasty anyway. They're so beautiful. Um, EA always knocks those out of the park. So that's another thing that people like in this game. So that I think there is going to be some panic selling and possible a possibility for a little bit of a market crash with the road to the final promo, uh, because I still feel like some of the stuff is, is a bit expensive. You know, Kane rule breaker is like the obvious one to me. It still seems to be a bit pricey, uh, at 1.2 million coins. This guy is still pretty expensive. So um, he also fluctuates a lot, by the way. If you want to trade this card, he was literally 1.2 mil an hour ago. And he was like 1.15 earlier today. So that's a nice flip right there if you can make that happen. So um, yeah, boys, today's going to be an interesting day. Team of the week is coming out. There's going to be a lot of leaks, a lot of market movements early in the day and when team of the week drops. And of course, people that are going to want to buy Thursday flips, just watch the market during the content drop time frame and into the nighttime if there's any sell off at all or if some cards are just not moving upwards and not getting invested in, that could be an opportunity to buy some of those cards. Um, I'm gonna be buying cards for Thursday flips because you gotta spend coins to make coins. So if we go in on Thursday flips and we do make a few losses, we'll make it back. But I do think the market will still rise because people are opening their weekend league rewards. We could have a decent team of the week today, uh, which could mean more coins coming onto the market through team of the week packs. Uh, tradable for the upper tier guys, making some of those higher meta tier cards rise in price a bit more. Um, so that's going to be something to watch out for as well. It's going to be a crazy Wednesday, right? Team of the week leaks. Twitter's going to be going crazy. Foot Twitter is, is kind of a mess the way it is. So if you're not following me on Twitter, cheeky plug for that. Link is down in the description if you want to follow me there. But yeah, check all those links out. They're real good. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, boys. If the Thursday flips have helped you out at all in the past couple of weeks, I know a lot of people have made some coins. Smash a thumbs up on the video. This week, we should be making some coins as well. Of course, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.